Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the next update on R2C restoration here. As you can see, the old chassis is gone, so we've got the new chassis in position, and we're going to start putting it all back together again today. So, as you can see, the um, axle front axle hasn't been quite finished with its uh, rattle can respray. Um, as I said, not really doing anything to the axles apart from respraying them. So this. Uh, front axle needs finishing off with the paint and that can go on the chassis and you can see it goes there on the chassis then moving along at uh, the back of the car in fact that just show that's where the rear chassis goes there goes on these two bolt holes there and this is the real rear axle as you can see um, that was a rat another rattle can restoration there Again, nothing really was particularly wrong with the rear axle, so no reason to do anything more than just repaint it. As you can see, we got rid of all the rust on it, and it's got a really nice coat of smooth hammerite on it now. Quite pleased with that, actually. So, job for today is to finish the front axle. Okay, so here are all the parts we've got off. Um, these are the two threaded tubes that hold the uh, spring can onto the chassis. Um, two buffers here, rubber buffers. Interestingly, the rear buffer 
is different profile to the front buffer. No idea why. Um, they're the two nuts we broke. So what I'll do now, um, I'll give this all a quick rattle can restoration. I'll probably leave this nut on here, on this rear um, threaded tube, so I know where to set the uh, spring cans when I come to the new chassis. Um, yeah, so a quick lick of paint and these should look perfect. <laughs> 